Scientists and astronomers haven't known much about black holes for a long time. These mysterious things were made when big stars broke apart. They are so dense that nothing, not even light, can escape their pull. Scientists have had ideas about what might be inside a black hole for a long time, but they have never been able to find out for sure. NASA has made a very important announcement. They have finally found out what's inside a black hole. Scientists have been able to look into the heart of a black hole and figure out what it is by using advanced imaging technology and data from the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, an international group of radio telescopes. This discovery is a big step forward in our understanding of the universe, and it gives us new ways to study and learn about it. So make sure to watch the video till the end and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's get started with today's video. About 50 years before the black hole got official status, before Cygnus X1 was discovered in the late 1960s, some scientists rejected Einstein's idea. The researchers discovered an oddly brilliant blue star that was generating X-rays while observing the Cygnus constellation. And it wasn't a star that was inert, it was Cygnus X1. Albert Einstein was the first person to predict the existence of a black hole and it began with physicists agree that a black hole is an object into which anything falling falls astronomically until it becomes a singularity. They have indicated that black holes function in such a way that if a person were to fall into one, they would be stretched into the shape of spaghetti and would slowly die before the final spaghetti form appeared. However, even so, that is one of the most terrifying aspects of the study of black holes. The debate of where the black holes may engulf other objects is another frightening aspect. You have to get through the first two levels of nothingness before you can even get to the void. Let's break this down into its parts. The inner and outer event horizons come first, followed by the point of singularity. If anything in space makes it this far, it's a point of no return on its way to the singularity. It'll either remain there or be driven further into the inner layer, that's because gravity is strong and steady throughout the event horizon. Which means that once something enters, it can't exit. For something to escape from there, it would have to move significantly more quickly than the speed of light to make it out. The singularity is the point where everything is squeezed down into a single particle, becoming virtually nothing. Even though the entire black hole is to be avoided, the way physics works on Earth and in the majority of space we have explored is significantly different to black holes. Conventional rules don't apply there. The fact that everlasting existence is possible there even though the black hole itself is to be avoided, the singularity is the point where the bulk of the object's mass is located. At this location, turn the singularity is the point where everything is squeezed. However, this does not mean that researchers who have been looking into these enormous bodies of mystery are without theories of their own. Let's discuss some of the most tenable hypotheses regarding what scientists believe to be present inside the black hole. The problem is that we haven't been able to explore the singularity itself to determine what it is. We have already established that we cannot go faster than the speed of light. Therefore, this is practically impossible. However, this does not mean that researchers who have been looking into these enormous bodies, the predominant theory proposes that black holes are not necessarily just vast voids, and that perhaps the movie Interstellar, directed by Christopher Nolan, was correct after all, in suggesting that there might be a gate between the event horizons and the beginning of the singularity, which would allow for interstellar and interuniversal travel. Black holes are a specific kind of malfunction that can occur in the matrix. If we were to develop technology that could travel faster than the speed of light, then we could potentially go into the inside of black holes. The singularity may be a wormhole that leads to a galaxy that isn't the same as the one we can see here. Therefore, it would be a method of interstellar travel that we have never even considered possible. If this were to occur, it would imply that our understanding of the planets in our solar system is not the only option available to us. If this were to occur, we might even contemplate developing methods for traveling through black holes and entering the galaxies that they lead to. 
On the complete opposite end of the spectrum from these hypotheses is the one that completely denies the existence of black holes. Tokyo-based. Despite how strange black holes may appear, the physicist Enrico Rinaldi has been working with his colleagues to understand them. He has created an easy explanation that only accounts for the chaos that black holes are like. Any visual anomaly, such as a mirage or hologram, is also plausible while discussing the abyss of space, where anything is conceivable. Let's spend a moment delving into the particulars hair as a result Rinaldi and his colleagues started by making comparisons to some of the most popular hypotheses regarding black holes in physics. Holograms games holographic images are currently produced using technology and are known as holograms. However, not every hologram Rinaldi and his colleagues carried out several experiments utilizing the theory of particles as well as the theory of gravity. They concluded that we need to understand what happens within black holes. Of course, you have to treat everything as a hologram in an area that practically no one can enter. If you project the black hole photos we have so far into three dimensions, you may be able to see the situation more clearly and understandably. They claim that black holes have always been in the universe. Let's go over those points once more, shall we? Outside of the black hole, space and time are moving in opposite directions. This may sound complicated, but to put it simply, the black hole has an impact on space. In addition to the singularity or wormhole it inhabits, the environment is a factor in the equation. This enormous terrible thing is powered by everything working together to create it. We should consider the concept of a moving black hole, which is analogous to a ring that is simply consuming things and growing more amorphous. If you think about the hole as a result of recent developments and research in this field, scientists are now closer than they have ever been to fully comprehending black holes. While we now know that the singularity may be deep within a black hole is when nothing can survive, further investigation of these objects may reveal brand new planets or should we say galaxies, that we had never imagined. However, we will just have to wait a little longer to learn more about it. With that, we will conclude today's topic. What do you think lurks inside black holes, in your opinion? Tell us if you agree with the findings of the expert or if you are working on developing your hypotheses in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe to our channel to see more content just like it. Thanks for watching.